Welcome back to Debunk Punk. I'm Vim Crony, and on today's show, we've got an awesome set by an awesome band called Master Beta. And they're really awesome kids. <laughs> and they're really, but they're really angry because they're punk rock. No, I'm just kidding. They're actually, they're actually pretty, pretty mellow. And, um, but don't get them started or else this will happen.
kind of go off on a tangent on the history and then make it brief but we did have two demos um, I'm not going to comment on them because they're old and obsolete now but uh, Master Beta was on a hiatus for like a good year yeah, and then um, after that we just like started messing around with the idea of like starting a band and then one day I just brought up the synthesizer and jokingly like said hey let's do this song and uh, it was archived, and then after that, it was like, let's go for it. And then um, I don't know, was it like a, was it because of the show that we started really? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the only reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like we love the, uh, I love the band. Um, it was like your brainchild. It was your kind of like <laughs> it was definitely my high school sketchbook band. Like if I had a band of awesomeness, it would be had. Um, but. Yeah, after the hiatus, like, we got a show, um, Monkey, Buckus, Monkey Bucket helped us get a show, which was cool, because, like, no one's paid any attention to our cries, and, um, <laughs> we practiced for, like, a week, we played a show, it was punk rock, we, like, played twice for one night, which was, like, because the other band didn't show up, which was great, we, uh, opened for Tick Tick, which was cool, um, and then, 
they played Paris Space the next day, and here we are. There you are. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll, after this, we'll have a recording. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, um, I don't know, what are, what are some of the songs revolving around? What are, you, what are you screaming about? What am I screaming about? <laughs> yeah. Basically, I guess a lot of the songs are influenced off of, well, archived, 1984. I guess. Yeah. Greg yeah. wrote the lyrics. It's basically 1984. Yeah, like. The society and stuff. Utopian societies. Yeah, we're all really into reading, which is like <laughs> such, yeah. such, such a stupid quote. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we like writing and reading. <laughs> we can read and write, so we write songs and read about things that we should write songs about. It works. But um, <laughs> no, like that was really a like sophomore effort for me to write a decent song. And the funny thing is, is like, some of the other songs I've just completely like gotten rid of because I can't stand them. But I'm still pretty, pretty excited about that song. Um, we all like the the classics like Brave New World, 1984, Fahrenheit 451. Just the idea that like the future may be bright, but maybe it's, it's not. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's bright because there's like radioactivity. That's about it. Like this chair, seen radioactive green. Yeah. I'm kind of afraid of sitting on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deep. Do you do you feel like um, I don't know? Do you feel like this band will help to push towards a utopian kind of society or um, world? Well, at least I don't know if it'll help push towards one, but it'll at least I guess bring the whole you know you're trapped kind of thing and systems and government and all that. At least bring it out you know and bring it out into the light so people will be like oh well maybe you know maybe it's true maybe, maybe. start questioning things for those people who don't read <laughs> for those, yeah. for those, who don't read. <laughs> those people who, who just watch tv too much of it yeah, yeah. yeah. all that radiation yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not good for you yeah. Something different. yeah exactly so if you you know just see things and start questioning them or start thinking about about it then maybe you can push forward to something yeah what do you think that well other than like a utopia i mean that's such like a Big, yeah, it's like really broad. <laughs> how do you how do you see like a utopia? What's your what's your utopia? My utopia? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Twinkies. I, really don't. I know Twinkies, Twinkies and, and cats. Pizza. <laughs> Twinkies and pizza. And, and cake naps. Naps. And burritos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and naps. That's heaven. <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> see, we appear to be a really deep political band, but really we just like Twinkies and naps. I don't know. I'm thinking like the whole utopia and just whatever. I don't. I'm probably it's really nihilistic, but I don't think it's really that possible. Yeah. Because whenever you want to, you know, fight for something, yeah, you get, you know, you do gain some things and all that. But um, eventually, w whenever you reach your utopia, you're gonna get um, hierarchies and institutions. No matter what, people are gonna, you know, group themselves up, and there's gonna be a hierarchy. So someone else is gonna be oppressed, and the same. It's just gonna happen. Oh, no. That's my <laughs> view. <laughs> Pretty pessimistic, but... No, I think you're right. Uh, yeah. yeah. As long as you're aware of it, I guess, you're not... I mean, if you're aware of it, then you're sad, but <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather know about it than not. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's like, like... That's really what the whole purpose of the band is. Um, instead of, like, you know, bitching and moaning about it, we figure, why bore people? Let's turn it into... You know, almost like a mini story. Um, a lot of the times when we write the lyrics, the way that they develop is we have a set idea. Um, maybe it's like the fact that, you know, people are oppressed on so many levels. It doesn't have to just be through, you know, like, you know, like the class, the idea, the ideology of class. Like, no one wants to accept the fact that there's classes, but there's totally, you know, there totally are. And um, so, like, let's say it's, like I said, like maybe you feel just trapped in every sense of the word. We're not going to tell you, like, you're trapped, you can't do anything about it. We'd rather write lyrics that kind of illustrate it in such a way that it's more impactful than if we were just to, you know, kind of moan and scream about exactly what was wrong. Even though we do moan and scream. Yeah, moaning and screaming is good. <laughs> moaning, screaming, like Twinkies, pizza. Yeah, it's cats. Kitty cats. Kitty cats. Yeah, it's We're not that far away from this utopia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, utopias are totally subjective. Um, totally. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Uh, can, what's, uh, is there a transition from that to maybe the beta? What's the... So, master beta is kind of a... I don't know. Originally, the band was going to be called Beta, and then 
by throwing Master on the front of it, it kind of gives us, like, I guess, a uh, comical... Well, we've said it so many times, it's not even funny to us anymore. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, the idea behind it is beta is an acronym for bettering the environment through action. And um, like we said, we like telling people stories that have underlying messages that relate to, you know, troubles, problems, and other stuff like that. Um, master, the idea behind master is kind of, you know, aside from it being a really funny pun on words. It's um, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we kind of see each other as our own masters. We don't really think there's like, you know, if we're spiritual or whatnot, that doesn't really have anything to do with the band. Um, but at the end of the day, you're your, your own master. And a um, uh, key component to master beta is the fact that uh, you're bettering the environment through action. And since you're your own master, you're doing it on an individual basis. Um, you know, it's really good to gather together, protest, and, you know, just create a community, but at the same time, when you begin to create these communities and agree with everything everyone else says, the possibility for challenge and questioning is kind of lost in the feeling of, you know, being uncomfortable, raising a question amongst a group of people who you consider, like, mm -hmm. your, your social clique. Um, so it's definitely important that we, you know, establish the fact that it's not just a joke. Um, we, we would like to get everyone that we can to understand that if you don't like us, tell us you don't like us. But, you know, if you really like us, maybe start a band and join us. But just the action part is the most important. Because, I mean, you could go to anti-war protests, which is great. You know, the message behind it is great. But um, I think something that's much more impactful is when it's instantaneous. Um, you don't have to be, you know, like someone that's completely anti-war or whatever it's just I guess if I could sum it up quick without ranting anymore <laughs> um, just the idea of actually getting out there and doing something and doing it for yourself and yeah. even if it's you know controversial for yourself mainly yeah it, but it's really the point that I'm trying to get across is it's all about the action it's not about thinking about it gathering together with a bunch of people and saying this would be great mm -hmm. it's about writing to Congress it's about going to the library and saying, why are you taking away half the shelves to, you know, make room for a Starbucks? It's about saying, you know, the budget cut for, for the Cal State schools, which sucks because kids who can't really afford college would like to go there, mm -hmm. and they want to, like, cut $20 million, and at the same time, they want to put, like, $10 million into the metro system plus an allotted amount more. That's just a specific example, but, um, yeah, it's definitely about getting out there and doing something as opposed to getting out there hypothesizing it's not about thesises. the process it's about doing it basically. yeah i guess the action <laughs> yeah that's awesome i love it i love it i love the fact that uh not only are you asking questions but it seems like you're moving towards some answers too and that's it's pretty amazing um it's like a molten knife to the face yeah <laughs> melt it off yeah peel away <laughs> see what we really are yeah yeah awesome well um I think that's, yeah, that's amazing. Is there anything else that you might want to say? We're looking for shows. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for shows. Cameras. <laughs> and we're looking for shows. Um, aside from that, hopefully we keep on going. Um, we're kind of, you know, nihilistic in a sense, but we definitely don't want the band to stop. And I don't think it will. Um, record soon, hopefully. But aside from that, if you like us, cool. If you don't, do something about it. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And synth punk. Yeah, synth punk. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right. Cool. See you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>